What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Venom Hammer Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junkie... Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Venom Hammer Boxing Gloves. I got these in black and red. 14 ounce of Velcro closure. Venom also makes these in a black and white as well as a black and gold color scheme. Um, weight wise anywhere from 8 to 18 ounces depending on what you're using it for for your training and they also do make a traditional lace-up version of this glove which is significantly more price wise it's about $50 more than the velcro closure that you see here for what reason I'm not sure other than the fact that I know that traditional or classic boxers like to use or should I say prefer to use lace-up gloves um, just because of the protection and the actual feel of a lace-up glove compared to a velcro closure but of course the advantage of having a velcro closure is the convenience of using it um, some people don't have access to a gym or a trainer that can lace up their gloves for them consistently so obviously velcro is a lot more convenient to use especially if you're training by yourself or you're you know switching between exercises maybe you're not hitting the bag the entire time and you're doing calisthenics or plyometrics and you want to kind of take your gloves on and off obviously lace ups wouldn't be preferred for that you would want to go with the velcro glove um, now venom is recently came out um, with their pro boxing glove line um, that really caters more to the, the, the traditional and classic style boxer. They may have seen recently that uh, Lomachenko has been signed as an athlete to represent Venom as well as um, Jorge Linares um, and Lomachenko switched over from rival to Venom and um, the glove that he was using in, in some of his training videos um, as well as his training camps is the hammer glove that you see here. And uh, so a lot of people have really peaked, it's really piqued a lot of people's interest, so to speak. Um, and Venom, I feel, is really trying to get more into the traditional boxing, where I feel like their previous gloves and the, the, just kind of the previous marketing has been more marketed towards the MMA crowd. And not to say that boxers can't use their, their equipment, but just from a marketing standpoint and the glove design uh, traditionally has been more for the MMA crowd. Uh, so let's go over the five things. The first is going to be the glove design. Um, you can see here that... The glove itself has a medium to compact cut to it. It's not a very big glove. Um, it, the actual design of the glove may not be for everybody. It's, it has some pretty loud uh, graphics on it. You, and this glove in particular actually reminds me of the Venom, I believe the Challenger gloves, as well as, I'm not sure if it's the Challenger or the Giant. I can't remember the design just because they all have some kind of similar looks. It either has like a Venom logo on it or has like a snake head or, or some kind of fangs, but um, that's one thing it does remind me is, is some of the other gloves that they offer at the lower end in that regard. So you can see it has a Venom logo on the back of the glove there. Um, um, you can see that it has this dipped rubberized material um, that the actual leather looks like it's been dipped in. Kind of like a plastic dip. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's, you know, you ever seen a car that's been wrapped that has, it's not the original color of the car they put it in a wrap. It's kind of similar to that. It looks like it has kind of a wrap type material on it. So you can see that it has a real patent shine to it. That red has a real nice shine to it, as well as the Venom logo there. You have that rubberized logo patch that's been embroidered onto the Velcro strap there. And you have the traditional Velcro strap. Looks really nice. You do have the Venom Serpent logo uh, on the outer side of the palm side right there, as well as the Venom logo on the fingertips as well as on the thumb it has a traditional grip bar right there as well as a leather attached thumb um, one thing i like about the inside palm is that they give you a lot of ventilated holes right there to help wick away moisture and it's all leather constructed gloves so um, this is um, all napa leather Ar uh, argentinian napa leather to be specific um, and you can see the difference between this and the shield gloves this has more of a grainy feel to it so it has more of a full grain leather feel to it and it's not as smooth so you can definitely see it has a little bit more of a textured feel to the hammer glove compared to the shield um, so overall a really cool looking glove again may not be for everybody um, the, the graphic is pretty loud me personally i like a little bit more cleaner more classic looking gloves uh, but that's just my personal preference so if, you know there's no right or wrong in that case it just depends on you now the quality of the gloves are really nice the napa leather is really soft and supple um, i would definitely compare 
the leather feel so kind of like the fly gloves um, not exactly the same but just the softness of the leather uh, it feels really nice and soft and supple it doesn't feel like Mexican leather gloves like Reyes or Casanova or New Sporting where it has a real grainy thick feel to this to the leather this one has definitely more of a, a soft touch feel to the, to the leather itself um, it has double stitching throughout that the stitching is done very nicely I didn't find any loose threads throughout the entire glove so all the stitching is done very nicely you can see that the leather is bonded very nicely there um, one thing I did notice on this glove um, is that there's a little bump in the foam there so to me that's a, you know I don't know if they consider that a natural occurrence um, but I've only had this glove for about two weeks now and it's already ha it already has a bump there from um, some usage right there Another thing I'm kind of concerned with is this dip material that goes over that's, you know, that's on the leather itself over time since this is on the striking surface of the glove um, that this dip material will start to wear off and just kind of get beat up since you've been hitting the bag and you're sparring with it. Um, again, you know, you can't really prevent the natural use of and wear and tear of the glove because eventually all gloves are going to wear out. Um, but again, um, I'm kind of I'm interested to see how, how well um, this dip rubberized material holds up um, to using it on the bags and, and just overall gym use. So, but overall, the leather is nicely bonded to the foam. All the stitching is done very nicely. The Velcro is really nice, high quality Velcro. Everything grips on there. The piping is done very nicely. All leather piping around there. So quality wise, a really nice glove. Comfort wise, putting my hand into the glove feels really good. I wish that the wrist support was a little bit more robust. You have about an eight to two eighths of an inch of foam on the wrist here. So I wish that it was a little bit more robust to give a little bit more of a rigid feel, but not too bad. You can see it has a little bit of flex to it. Um, one thing I do like about the hand compartment, it, it really puts my hand in a natural fist position. I do wish that the fingertip compartment was a little bit deeper. I feel like it's a little bit on the shallow side so that when you're putting your hand in there, when you're you know, typically when you put your hand in, your, your thumb is usually like this inside of a boxing glove. And the more you can, you can really roll your fingers over, it will position your hand to where you don't feel like you're doing one of these with your, with your hand. You feel like you can really turn over. And you can with these gloves, but I just wish that the fingertip compartment was a little bit deeper so that I can really tuck my, my hand in and really make that fist turn over. And you can with this glove, I just feel it was a little bit deeper. So for those of you that have longer fingers, that might cause an issue with the finger compartment being a little bit on the shallow side. Um, the thumb though, feels really nice. Um, I don't feel any discomfort with this piping around the thumb area here. Um, it doesn't jam at the top. It's in a nice comfortable position. I don't feel like the foam is restrictive on my hand. I don't feel like my hand goes numb or has any pressure points in this glove. The palm side feels really good. Um, the inner foam that goes around, around the knuckles feels uh, really nice as well. Um, so overall, it feels very comfortable. Again, I think it, it should be able to fit hands of all sizes, but if you do have longer fingers, that might be a little bit of an issue for you. Um, but then again, you might just have to try these gloves out and see how they feel for you. So, um, But overall, the comfort is really nice. Performance-wise, um, these gloves perform fantastic. Um, it's really hard to describe the feedback you get with these, but out of a lot of the gloves I've, I've tried in the past and I've done a review on, the, the feedback on these gloves are really optimal. They use a three layer foam of, of high density foam with an EVA layer of foam on the top. So I don't know if you guys see my review on the Rival Guerrero HDEF gloves, um, which were the 10 ounce uh, bike gloves, but they also use a layer of EVA foam on the exterior and softer, higher density foams on the bottom layers until it hits the back of your hand, which is a little bit softer, so you have a more form-fitting glove. But when you hit the heavy bag with this glove, you can see how dense it is. That EVA foam doesn't have much give. It's a really dense glove, so you could use these for sparring, but I would definitely break them in as far as that top layer of foam. But on the heavy bag, man, it's really hard to describe. When you make contact, you can feel everything. You can also you can feel exactly where your, your knuckles are landing on the bag and it doesn't hurt so it's not you know a painful thing where it's like a puncher's glove where the foam collapses and you feel like your hand really sinks in and, and it hurts with this you you feel the feedback of the of the impact uh, but it doesn't hurt at all so 
from a feedback standpoint, these are some of the best gloves I've used, uh, especially if you're using for the mitts and bag work. When you hit the mitts with these and you hit that heavy bag, man, you can feel every shot and everything really cracks. Um, and especially when you turn those punches over, you get a really nice pop and crack with these gloves. So this is, performance wise, this is about where these gloves really shine is, is using them, and especially for those of you that love gloves that give you that crack and that pop and give you that satisfying feedback that you look for. Um, when you hit the bag, these would definitely be those gloves. So performance wise, uh, they're fantastic in that regard. Um, now cost wise, these gloves are $169. Um, so for their entire pro boxing glove line, um, they all start at $169 and then they go up from there. The, the black and metallic gold color, I believe, is $20 more. So they're, I believe, $189 for the black and met the metallic gold, just because the metallic, I believe, just more costly. And then the lace-ups, I believe, are $209. Um, so again, you're, you're kind of seeing a bump up in price if you go for the lace-up uh, versions of these gloves. So um, some people will say it's kind of ludicrous that you would pay $200 plus for a pair of gloves, yet, you know, uh, yet alone some boxing gloves um, but again apples to oranges um, I think these gloves are really nice I wish that the design was a little bit more exclusive for their pro boxing glove line because I feel that these gloves look way too similar to some other more entry-level mid-range gloves and, and doesn't really separate it from those gloves from an aesthetic standpoint from performance wise yes but aesthetically I wish that once they started their their pro boxing glove line that they would say okay let's sit down and let's make the design on these look completely different obviously with our venom logo on it but in a different manner just to kind of separate it to give it that exclusivity now some people could care less about the looks of the gloves some people um, do want that especially if they're paying 200 plus dollars for a pair of boxing gloves so but overall i was really impressed by the performance of these gloves especially on the heavy bag and the feedback that i got with them so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put all the information where you can find these gloves in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.